Hey guys, LPocket77 here and welcome to a brand new series which should be out every Thursday and that is going to be Throwback Thursdays. This series was suggested to me by a subscriber on a video earlier in the week and I thought I may as well show you guys what Silvers used to be like and how EA or how I'm hoping EA will make them in the future. As compared to the last few years, Silvers on FIFA 10 and 11 were so much better, it's ridiculous how much better they were. So I'll start with FIFA 10 and probably FIFA 11 as well, as Silvers weren't as commonly used back then so a lot of the best Silvers from those years haven't actually been seen too much. Some of the FIFA 10 silvers are very very hard to find images of as it was back before the web app but I found as many as I could on Footwiz and in this episode I'll be showing you my favourite Barclays Premier League silvers from FIFA 10. I was going to show you the players in a team but I think it looks a lot better like this so I'll go through the defenders and midfielders and then forwards. I've stuck Jones the goalkeeper here in the silver defenders as he's the only really decent goalkeeper. I think he is upgraded, a lot of these players are upgraded in FIFA 10 pretty much all of these cards got upgrades for no reason really they just decided to do a load of upgrades so Jones the Liverpool goalkeeper here got transferred from Middlesbrough to Liverpool and that's why he got an upgrade he's got incredible stats for a goalkeeper he's also got Traore the Arsenal left back who now I think he now plays for QPR and has had a nationality change back then he was French and he was pretty much just pace but he was a very very solid left back you also have an incredible centre back which is Bramble I think this wasn't actually an upgrade I think this was just a normal card and this Bramble for Sunderland has 76 pace 82 defence and 85 heading as a centre back you don't get many silvers like that in, in you haven't seen many silvers like that in recent years to be honest on to the, the other defenders and you've also got Nordweit who was transferred to from someone in the Bundesliga to Arsenal and he has 75 pace 77 defence and 85 heading so again it's some amazing stats you've also got Mancian on loan from Chelsea to Wolves with the 77 pace 71 passing 72 defence and 80 heading so again another really good centre back and you also have Winston Reid here whose nationality used to be Denmark on FIFA but now it is New Zealand he also has really really solid stats 75 pace 78 defense and 84 heading so those are the best defenders that I used and now we'll move on to a couple of midfielders the midfielders were incredibly good as well you've got Paulson who is arguably who what I like to think as probably one of the best defensive midfielders we've ever had in terms of silvers he had 75 pace 80 passing 70 dribbling 86 defense and 75 heading I've not seen a silver like that really in since FIFA 10 to be honest, I've not really seen any like that. You've also got Shelby, who was also a very solid centre defensive mid. Started as centre mid, but I used him centre defensive mid. Had incredible long shots as well. Got 80 pace, 80 dribbling, 70 shooting, 74 passing, and 74 defence. Very, very solid. And you've also got Kana, Kana, something like that, for Sunderland. He had 78 pace, 84 defence, and 84 heading. And those were stats before he actually got an upgrade. He got upgraded when he transferred to Galatasaray. So I think he had 86 defence, 86 heading, and possibly about 80 pace so that upgraded cards Galatasaray was absolutely ridiculous then you've got the slightly more attacking midfielders here you've got Wilshire who was a ridiculous card 82 pace 85 dribbling 73 shooting and 77 passing you also got Cleverly with 85 pace 80 dribbling 65 shooting and 75 passing that was when he was on loan to Wigan and then you've also got Bostock when he was on loan from Spurs to Hull and although it says he's centre defensive mid he was much better as an attacking midfielder he also has really good stats with 80 pace, 76 dribbling, 70 shooting and 75 passing. And lastly onto the strikers, if those midfielders and defenders weren't good enough you have the strikers and all of these are thinker upgraded as well apart from Jones. You've got Welbeck with 85 pace, 80 dribbling, 80 shooting and 70 heading. An absolutely amazing card, he was so good in game, probably one of the best silver strikers I've ever used and along with that Beckford equally as good, 89 pace, 75 dribbling, 82 shooting and 75 heading. If you put that into perspective, those sort of stats back then in FIFA 10, these cards only cost between sort of 30 to 80 or 90k. Nowadays, they'd probably be about 200, 300k, something re absolutely ridiculous like that, probably even more if they're in forms. You've also got Kevin Jones, who was much, much faster back then, and probably also one of my favourite strikers I've ever used. 86 pace, 67 dribbling, 67 shooting, and 91 heading. He was an absolute tank, as his pace then was much better than it is nowadays. And on to the last strikers, I've got a couple more here a couple more upgrades I think Ebanks Blake wasn't an upgrade but we started Frank Newball I think he was an, the upgrade that I used before I could afford Beckford back then but Newball was also ridiculously good at 86 pace 76 dribbling 75 shooting and 80 heading you've also got Picky on for another again another player for West Ham West Ham had a lot of really good silver upgrades back in FIFA 10 
Pickion had 76 pace, 82 shooting, and 83 heading. And you also have Ebanks Blake, who I think was actually a normal card I don't actually remember using, but I did manage to find him on Footwiz, and he also looks ridiculous because his strength was very, very good. He had 87 pace, 76 dribbling, 70 shooting, and 61 heading. So there you go, guys. Those were the best and probably also my favorite Barclays Premier League silvers in FIFA 10. Some absolutely ridiculous cards. So let me know, guys, what do you think of better? Silvers back in FIFA 10 or 11 if you did use them, or, or silvers now? In my opinion I'd much prefer if EA did release ridiculous silvers like that as it does make the game much more fun and I don't know why they just can't do it they did it back then so why can't they do more of them in this game or the next few games if you enjoyed the video please feel free to give this a like and I'll, I'll probably next next week's I'm probably gonna be doing the Bundesliga silvers from FIFA 10 so thanks for watching guys cheers